What's up, this is Altaric here. The indoor cycling app Ruby added a 360 degree dimension to its virtual cycling app that gives you a 360 degree view perspective of what is around you. They are calling this new 360 feature Omni Mode. Ruby is an indoor cycling app that offers a big library of video routes from around the world. Many of them are in augmented reality, bringing in real world video content combined with computer generated avatar. Ruby offers group events, virtual racing, a big library of structured cycling workouts, and running as well. To accomplish the 360 camera view, Ruby mounted 360 cameras on motorbikes to record these new routes and with that they're able to create this new augmented reality experience and with this new update you can find these new routes by going to ruby routes library all omni mode routes will have a dedicated folder in the root app catalog and a 360 icon in the root card you can also search for these routes by typing in omni mode in the search box to see all the routes with omni mode enabled currently they have eight available routes and they plan on adding more 360 routes on a weekly basis. Also in the settings menu, you should see this auto 360 view camera enabled. Disabling this will not disable the 360 uh, view, but will stop the camera from switching on its own. And uh, I'll talk more about that in a bit. But if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you quickly hit that like button. It helps the video and the channel quite a bit and I really appreciate it. Okay, why don't we jump on and see how it worked. Once you start a ride, you will see three new camera on the top menu. You can change the camera view manually during a ride by clicking on the icons at the top of the screen. There are three icons, rear view, static pan, type view, and front camera. At the same time, if you have auto 360 view camera enabled in the setting menu, this means that the camera view will change automatically in a regular time period. And the algorithm for the automatic camera change works this way. The front camera for about 80 seconds, then it switches to the rear view, and then the whip pan panoramic uh, type mode for about 15 seconds. The switch to the rear camera happens more often than the pan view on a two to one ratio. So this is the front view. So you are probably familiar with this one. You see your avatar in front of you and other riders as well. And you can manually switch the camera view to rear view by pressing the left camera icon or pressing the keyboard shortcut B. And uh, this is how it looks. Pretty cool, right? You can see all the riders behind you. And uh, this is great if you are in a virtual race and want to get a view of the peloton behind you and see what is happening. If someone is getting out of the saddle or someone coming for an attack, you can see all that action behind you or just a little distraction and enjoy the scenery from a different perspective. You can switch to pan view by pressing on this angled camera icon or the keyboard shortcut P. The pan view is a fixed camera view that swivel as you come passing by. It is kind of like a spectator view. And uh, to go back to the front view, all you need to do is press the F key on your keyboard or hit the right camera icon. Ruby is also working on a companion app that will come at some point and will enable you to easily switch between views. Other improvements Ruby made in this release is extending course visibility. With this new Omni mode, you can see other riders, avatar and overlaid 3D objects at a much further distance, even on turns. You will notice the avatars are more visible as you see on this turn from a distance. So you might say this has been around for a long time in other apps. And that is true, Zwift and Wahoo RGT, for example, always give you the ability to switch between camera views like this and even give you more options. These apps have more like video type graphics and virtual worlds where Ruby is doing this on real videos of real routes. So pretty cool stuff from Ruby. If you want to try Ruby out, it is $15 per month or $12 per month if you sign up for a full year. They also have a 14 day free trial where you can try all these features out without being committed to anything. So overall, very interesting stuff from Ruby as we hit towards the indoor training season. I would love to know what you guys think about all these updates. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit that like button. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.